There's a enzyme that latches onto this complex, the LDL, LDL receptor, and then a PCSK9 enzyme. When that enzyme is attached, it, it causes both things to burn up the LDL as well as the receptor. So Isaac has appeared a couple of times in different forums uh, asking why we don't give uh, PCSK9 inhibitors more often and why I don't take them. We talked about that a good bit in the um, uh, YouTube live event tonight, but it made me realize I haven't really talked that much about PCSK9s. I'm going to take this off of the Amgen um, website, which shows the actual mechanism of action of the PCSK9 inhibitors. Then we'll do another video on is the juice worth the squeeze? And yes, they will show uh, decreasing your LDL 50 and 60 percent or more with these PCSK9 inhibitors will slightly decrease your plaque deposition. There's no question, it will. But at 13,000 a year, or even the new numbers, Amgen, I think it was Amgen, uh, took 60 percent of the cost and decreased it to half of that. Most people's reaction, and mine as well, is it's still, uh, you still have to question the risk benefit. But let's, get, let's go back to the very beginning and talk about the mechanism of action. I'll give you a couple of details on it. There are receptors in the liver which stick out of the uh, liver cell membrane. They catch LDL when it comes along. They pull the LDL down into the liver cell and they that mechanism of the receptor and the LDL go into a lysozyme, it's burned up, and that's how LDL is cleared. Now, there's a enzyme that latches onto this complex, the LDL, LDL receptor, and then a PCSK9 enzyme. When that enzyme is attached, it, it causes both things to burn up the LDL as well as the receptor. The PCSK9 inhibitor allows for the LDL to get burned up, but not the receptor. So the receptor keeps coming back out and getting more and more LDL. Pardon my graphics. I'm just using my fist let, or my hands. Let's take a look at the what... Uh, if you're a company that's making a $13,000 a year product, uh, you can do some pretty good videos. So let's take a look at their video on this. Have a two-day event in uh, Louisville, November 8th and 9th. Get your CIMT and all of your labs. The role of PCSK9 in the regulation of LDL cholesterol. Cholesterol is transported in the blood by lipoprotein particles, of which one major group is low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, an important risk factor for atherosclerotic disease. The liver is the gatekeeper of plasma LDL levels and is responsible for its clearance and catabolism. Hepatocytes express LDL receptors that bind LDL and remove it from the plasma. So that's the LDL, the and that's LDL, the these LDL are the receptors. The receptor complex is taken up by the hepatocyte in clathrin coated vesicles. Inside the cell, this is these the vesicles lysozyme. fuse with endosomes, and the acidic environment of that's the endosomes facilitates the dissociation de of the LDL, LDL receptor complex. The LDL. The LDL receptor cycles back to the cell surface where it binds to additional LDL particles, leading to a further reduction in plasma LDL cholesterol. Free LDL and endosomes are transported to lysosomes and degraded into lipids, free fatty acids, and amino acids. Proprotein convertase subtilisin like hexin type 9, or PCSK9, is a protein that regulates the expression of the LDL receptor in the liver. Hepatocytes produce a precursor of PCSK9 
that undergoes self-cleavage in the endoplasmic reticulum and ultimately is secreted into plasma as functional PCSK9. Extracellular PCSK9 binds to the LDL receptor on the surface of the hepatocyte and gets internalized with the LDL-LDL receptor complex. Upon dissociation from LDL, the LDL receptor PCSK9 complex is routed to the lysosome for degradation, thereby preventing the cycling of LDL receptors back to the cell surface. So again, with PCSK9, you have the, the LDL receptors burned up as well. If you have a PCSK9 inhibitor, these receptors just get recycled, they come back out, so you have multiples more of the receptors pulling the LDL out of the blood into the liver to be digested. So that's part one of the PCSK9 story. That's the mechanism of PCSK9. Again, for Joe Isaacs and, uh, and other people's uh, interest, I'm going to do the next step on, is the benefit worth the cost? We're having an event November 8th and 9th in Louisville. Uh, check it out. To find it, you go, just go to our homepage and click here for more information.